Meet the Costa Rican washing machine. Review. Suspicious. Great success. You can close it if you want to. Very nice. Let's see what happens here. <laughs> oh yeah, and by the way, volcano. Good morning. Today it's time to leave this beautiful casita here. Travel day, four hours roundabout to the area of Tortuguero. It's supposed to be a very, very beautiful area and they should have a lot of turtles there. So one really crazy phenomenon, one species here of the sea turtles, they are going to lay their eggs in the area where they are actually born, which is crazy if you think about that, that they'll spend their life somewhere and every two to three years they are coming back to the beach where they were born. Yeah, lay their eggs there. I hope we can witness this phenomenon. And one fact also there in Tortuguero, there are no cars, so you have to go there by ferry. So we're gonna park our car right in front of the small village, do our tours, do whatever. Enjoy all of the Airbnb with a view of the sea. It sounds like a plan, sounds great. We're gonna take you with us, so let's go. Bye bye, volcano. Bye bye. Mr. Shy Volcano, always hiding in the clouds. <laughs> Let's go! I almost forgot ya! I'll leave the camera here with a nice view. So leaving our wonderful remote casita here, total recommendation. Yeah, we'll link it in the description box below. If you are here visiting the Arenal volcano area, it's the perfect stay. It's quiet, it's remote, you got a view to the volcano and a good amount of dirt roads. So heading off to Tortuguero now. So this annoys us for days now. Duct tape. Okay, we're getting experimental again after all our sickness stories because in this country we feel really safe. This is a very typical menu but what people eat here on the side of the road like we are doing today. And they always have fried egg or scrambled eggs from what I understood. Then they have fried plantain, gallo pinto on rice with beans and a bit of parsley I think and paprika and uh, aqua fresca. You already know from our food tour. This one is really nice.
stuff. All right, did make it to the cruise ferry terminal. Some random guy sold us a ticket for the ferry and we don't know yet if it's the right one. <laughs> we are always very suspicious. Yes. We are German. It seemed a bit off, but I bet it'll be fine. Now packing all of our stuff. We need to park here. It's $10 per vehicle per night, so 20 bucks. And the ticket to take the ferry was 10. And it's blazing hot. I just wanted to check how much it is with wow. other companies, because I think it's more expensive. What did you say, honey? I was occupied. Even though we are not really having heavy luggage anymore, I still think maybe we could have less. I miss my closet and more clothes. I'm schizophrenic. No, I'm dragging this thing over dirt and sticks and gravel. <laughs> I'm starting to like this kind of transportation. Like small boats. You never know if they sink with you somewhere in the sea or no. So welcome to Tortuguero! It's already so beautiful here. I mean, people told me that it's like the Amazon here. Like oh, on the look. my friend! First impressions. I love it. It's the right amount of exotic and a bit touristy. So you can feel comfortable. It's not too adventurous, but it is adventurous. And sometimes it's a sweet spot, hard to find. And this is our Airbnb. We are going to link this Airbnb down below before they pick you up, they bring you here, you get a coconut. What do Pura you want? Vida. Pura vida. And you could pour to make coffee, my friend. Okay. You could just have the water and make your own coffee. Here we have coffee for you. Wi-Fi, amigo. Thank Good. you so much. Ah, my friend, you're very welcome, eh? Pura vida. Pura vida. Friend you, first one's here. We've made it here to Tortuguero. It's a lovely village, really lovely. We checked into the Airbnb and now we're here at Restaurant Minino. We booked our event for tomorrow. It's gonna be Ernesto. He has the best value and we're gonna do two activities. First a hike in the morning and then three hours of rest. We're gonna chill here in the village and then go out again to do some canoeing. It's gonna be great. When you're doing activity here or if you want to do multiple activities, really think about it to stuff them into one day because you have to pay a park admission fee to enter the national park and it's quite expensive. So for two, it's around about $30. One activity maybe in the morning, one in the afternoon and then you're good to go. We're gonna have our dinner now and hopefully feel fine afterwards. See you later. One downside of travel, heat. At least a fan. Oh, Next to... <laughs> it's still a crash. Good night. Good night.